Hey, it's nobody, A is cool here, and this is a tips and tricks video about Hunt Showdown for everything you need to know for beating all the common monsters in the bayou. We'll start with the most common, the grunts. There are several types of grunts, and they're all easy to kill. The easiest and quietest way to handle them is to use your dusters or your knife and give them a melee attack to the head. But as a tip, I usually like to use the butt of my rifle and give them two attacks with that. That way, the experience I get for killing them actually goes to the rifle weapon to unlock the next tier. And so if you're still unlocking equipment, I recommend doing that or relying on weapons that have melee attachments. For example, this pistol has the brawler attachment. The biggest problem with using your rifle to be aware of is that you're going to quickly run out of stamina and you can only kill about two zombies with it. So, if you're worried about making too much noise, or there are more than two zombies around, you'll want to use your knife for dusters. First, I want to mention the plain grunt. He has no weapons, and they're just going to deal direct damage when they hit you. They're not much of a threat, and they're easy to take out. The torch grunt carries around a lit torch. When they hit you, they're gonna light you on fire, which is gonna start burning away at your health chunks. So be careful around these unless you wanna lose some of your max HP. Dr. Grunts stand out in a couple ways. They carry around a dirty hacksaw, and when they hit you with it, in addition to dealing the regular damage, it'll also apply the poison effect. The other thing about doctors can actually be helpful. When you kill one, they drop a med kit on the floor. So, once you wait for the poison to wear off, pick up the med kit and heal yourself. That means they can also be useful if you're low on health, to do a quick check if there are any doctor zombies around to kill them and take their med kit. It's not a reliable strategy, but it can help you in a pinch. Cleaver grunts carry around a sharp blade and when they swing and hit you, it's going to apply bleeding. Some grunts carry lanterns around, and when it's lit at night, it casts light to the nearby area. If they hit you with the lantern, it's going to explode, lighting you and anything nearby on fire. On the other hand, if you kill them before they hit you, they're going to drop their lantern on the ground. That way, you can pick it up, and use it as a weapon of your own. Minor grunts have headlamps on. It's probably best to shoot these in the chest when you take them out. Be careful, because if you shoot them in the head, the headlamp is going to explode, lighting you and anything nearby on fire. Certain grunts are brandishing a pistol. While they lack the dexterity to shoot you with it, if they hit you with it, the pistol will go off with a loud gunshot noise, alerting anyone nearby of your presence. It's easy enough to avoid this by simply killing him before he hits you. Hellhounds are the worst. They come in packs of two to four, and they'll notice your presence even from a long ways away. They'll then run at you and jump and attack. Their attacks cause bleeding damage, and so if you don't take them out quick, a pack can quickly kill you if they get in a few attacks. Oftentimes it's best to avoid them, but if you need to take them out, a strong attack with a knife to anywhere on their body will kill them. Or if you're using dusters, you can do a strong attack to the head. Or if you're hitting their body, a strong attack to their body with, with a light attack anywhere else. Be careful of the ones with the armor masks. If you're shooting and trying to headshot them, the armor mask will protect them. So you either need to take them out with body shots or once again, resort to your melee tools. Immolators are nasty glowing enemies. When they spot you, they let out a yell and start charging in your direction. Be careful not to shoot them or use a knife or any blade on them. If you do, they're going to explode, burning you and anything nearby. And then they'll be ignited, so when they run up to attack you, they'll light you on fire as well. It's easiest to use a few strong attacks from dusters to take care of them. Remember, don't use a knife. If you're trying to farm weapon experience or you don't have dusters on you, you can use the butt of your rifle to take care of them. It's going to take four hits and your entire stamina bar, 
but it works in a pinch. Other options are to simply kill them at range. When you shoot them, they're gonna let out a lot of noise, but a couple of headshots will take care of them, or if you're as bad of aim as I am, two body shots can make it happen too. A couple equipment specific ways you can take care of them is using poison bolts with a hand crossbow. Those will take them out instantly with a single hit. Otherwise, if you have choke bombs, when a choke bomb goes off, it will immediately kill any emulators in the area. Armors are basically zombies on steroids. They come in two variations, the standard armored and then the concertina armored. The standard armored are extremely resilient to being shot. The best way to take these out are gonna be three stabs with a knife to the head. Otherwise, anything that sets an armored on fire will kill it instantly. These can be flares, lanterns, fire ammunition, etc. They're also weak to poison damage. The concertina variation is wrapped up in barbed wire. It's more resistant to melee attacks and less resistant to gunfire. If you get too close to one of these and come in contact with it, it will apply bleeding to you, so you need to keep your distance. Throwing knives and throwing axes are also a good way to handle this, but mostly how you handle these depends on the weapon loadout you bring. Hives are these lovely ladies. They have a large hive nest protruding from their chest and their head is slumped out to the side. That's important because if you want to headshot this monster, you have to hit the head on the side. These are problematic because they're a ranged enemy. If you get too close, they'll send out a swarm of insects to hunt you down, deal damage, and poison you. You can disperse the hive with several melee attacks. Blunt damage is more effective at this time. When you kill the hive mother, the swarm itself stops attacking you. Best ways of dealing with her is simply a headshot, either from your weapon, or if you're quick enough, you can actually run right towards her, run around her swarm, and do a melee attack with your dusters or the knife to her head. If you happen to have fuses or the flare gun on you, you can use these to kill the swarm while it's flying towards you. Or, in the unfortunate instance, if it's already on you. Likewise, you can use these same tools to take out the Hive Mother instantly, but usually it's easier just to shoot her. Meatheads are these hulking beasts. They may be blind, but they respond to sound, and the leeches on the ground around them can see for him. They'll let out a little shriek when they see you, and he'll run in your direction. Also, if a leech attacks you, it will poison you. And the thing about the meathead is he can see poisoned targets, no matter what poison you. Once he knows where you are, he'll turn towards you and charge. The best defense is just to run. Jump a fence or close a door. Now, there are a few things you should know in taking out a meathead. Probably the easiest way is just to throw a stick of dynamite at his feet. If you try and kill him with ammunition, it will take a lot of ammunition to take him down. But to help you with that, realize dealing damage to the top half of his torso is more effective than anywhere else on his body. He's not very vulnerable to fire, but you can use poison to take him down. If you have poison bolts on your hand crossbow, usually three or four bolts will take care of him. When a meathead dies, be sure to search the ground after he falls. There's a 50% chance that meatheads will drop a trait. So oftentimes, I bring one stick of dynamite just to take out the first meathead I come across. Water devils are nasty aquatic creatures. They're usually making some gurgling noise in the distance, so you can be aware that they're in a water you're about to cross. You can also see them by looking at the rippling water spots. If you see this, you know there's water devils in the water. As soon as you set foot in the water, they're going to start chasing you and applying heavy damage and bleed. It's important to be aware of them so you can cross the water safely. If you have a short crossing, oftentimes you can still make it across safe. But if you have a longer crossing you need to go through, you can kill them. Be aware, after you kill them, they will respawn in about 10 seconds. So, kill them and cross quickly. When they chase you, they make a lot of noise, alerting any hunters nearby. 
So oftentimes, if you can, it's better to find a safe way around. A lot of water locations are going to have small areas that are actually meant to be crossed. It could be a plank laying out into the water or just a spot of shallow water that you can quickly run across. Look for these if you see a water devil nearby. It's also important to note that on your map, you can see various bridges and crossing over water areas. This can be a helpful resource when trying to move silently around water where you know water devils are. Here's a couple general tips that apply to almost all the AI. First of all, if something's chasing you, you can close a door or jump a fence. For the majority of the AI, these are obstacles that they won't cross. If you want an extra stealth edge while taking out AI, I recommend getting comfortable with the throwing knives and throwing axes. These are both quick, efficient ways of silently taking out the AI at range as you move through the bayou. At the end of a mission, if you click on Mission Summary, you get to see in detail how many monsters you killed and how much experience they all were worth. Keep note that if you die in a mission, your bloodline is only going to get half of that. What monsters are your least favorite? Do you hate the meatheads or are you scared to death of the water devils? Also, did I get anything wrong or did I miss anything? Let me know in the comments. But until next time, hit subscribe and keep an eye out for more Hunt Showdown content on Games with Nobodies. I'm Nobody A is Cool, and this is what nobody knows about Hunt Showdown.